At the biggest high school football game in Arkansas, a fight and loud bangs send a scare across War Memorial Stadium. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Littman. Fans at the annual Salt Bowl game scrambled for the exits early in the third quarter. Reports of a gun and popping noises followed a fight in the stands, which was filled with a record number of fans. The game between Benton and Bryant has been canceled. Our Dorian Kraft and Michael Aaron saw it all unfold and join us live with the latest on the situation okay, right now. You have lost car keys and you can hear my voice around the stadium. Well, David, just a very scary situation here at War Memorial Stadium about an hour ago as those reports of gunshots came in. Also, a stampede of sorts in the end zone here. Dorian, you were here for all of that just before 9 o'clock in the uh, third quarter, fourth quarter? Third quarter, so it was about 9.44 left in the third quarter. I was actually down on the far sideline on uh, the Benton side of the field. So Brian had just Chicago scored a touchdown, and I looked up in the stands, field. and there was a if wave of people running, other items, and I didn't see anything, and it was those it kind of, to the front I thought it was a joke almost, I thought it stadium. was, you know, you have rival students, and it almost looked as if it was students running, it started from the student section and ran across, so it almost looked like students were playing a prank, and then I look out to the field, and the Bryant team is huddled underneath the wall, they are panicking, they are clearing the field, and it looks like right now we are almost about ready to go to a press conference, um, from Park Rangers, we're yes. going to hear from uh, State Police uh, Officer Jason Perry. With uh, he's a Park Ranger, going to address the media right now. So we're going to turn our attention to him uh, as we speak. Okay, folks. Good evening. My name is Jason Perry. I'm a Park Ranger with Arkansas State Parks. Uh, tonight, a little a little after nine o'clock, uh, we had a scare here in the stadium uh, during the Salt Bowl game, and uh, uh, our Park Rangers went ahead and followed protocol and began evacuating the stadium. Okay, uh, once we had the stadium secured uh, and, and knew that it was safe, then we get, began the process of reuniting uh, families with lost ones because there's a lot of folks that kind of scattered during the scare. Uh, we began that process, which is ongoing um, and just about to be wrapped up. I believe uh, there was just a few outstanding uh, at last notice. Um, at some point, both schools decided to go ahead and cancel the game. Uh, it, it, for the safety of uh, the fans and the people involved, they decided to go ahead and cancel the game. So the game was canceled and we went ahead and began evacuating the rest of the stadium. Okay, at that point, uh, there were a few injuries. Uh, most of them were heat related, uh, unrelated to the scare. And so medical staff was uh, right on the spot and was able to tend to all the injuries and uh, evacuate them as necessary uh, and treat them as necessary. Um, we wanna thank uh, the Little Rock Police Department and the Benton PD, uh, Pulaski County Sheriff's Department, who all acted admirably uh, during this scare. Everybody was professional and did what was needed to be done. Uh, the medical staff that was on board also was there on the spot, ready to, to, to act uh, and treated patients accordingly. Uh, the stadium uh, security did their job as well. Everybody kind of acted together as a team to evacuate the stadium uh, and secure uh, the stadium, make sure it was safe, tend to the families, tend to the injured. Okay, and we've pretty much uh, wrapped that up. Uh, if you have any further questions, if you need more information, uh, you can contact uh, the Arkansas State Parks Director's Office. That number is 501-682-7743. And as um, you guys have Thank you very much. And uh, that's Park Ranger Jason Perry. He tells us tonight that families are still working to be reunited after the scare here at War Memorial Stadium. And again, thanking the coordinated response from law enforcement from both Pulaski and Saline County. Now, uh, we do know again that the injuries were from heat related. We also did see some people with uh, splints on their ankles on the field after that stampede of sorts. Uh, no word on how serious the injuries are tonight, but of course something that we're going to stay on top of for you uh, as this scary situation unfolded here at War Memorial Stadium. Little Rock Police confirming no shots fired, so certainly good news there for you. It is certainly good news, but people here certainly believed that gunshots were the case. People fled. They didn't know exactly what was going on. Multiple people came up to me and asked me what was going on. I repeated what I had heard was that a police officer told me that they had a report of a gun and to get to a safe place to let your friends and family know that you were okay. They cleared the stadium and once they made sure it was okay and safe for fans to re-enter, they did start and come back to have fans. They were going to replay this game until they ultimately decided that it was unsafe. And we are going to hear from Shane Broadway from uh, the Salt Bowl right now. Uh, on behalf of the Salt Bowl Committee, I want to thank uh, the War, Mem War Memorial Stadium staff, uh, the Arkansas Department of Parks and Tourism, uh, Little Rock PD, uh, Pulaski County Sheriff's Office, uh, Brian and Benton PD, all who have been here uh, were here during uh, the incident tonight. 
Uh, we will continue to work with everyone throughout uh, the investigation because our goal is to find out what happened. Uh, because we want to know for our parents, for our students, and for our players exactly what happened uh, to here tonight. And the main thing is we don't want the incident that occurred tonight to overshadow the good that happened here tonight. There were 38,215 fans enjoying a heck of a football game, a great tailgate party. We, we raised a record amount of peanut butter to help the people in our communities. And I know that what happened tonight may overshadow some of that. Uh, but I wanted to say something on behalf of our committee and both of our school districts uh, that a lot of good did happen here tonight. And we're going to get to the bottom of what did occur that it caused this incident uh, because at the end of the day, whoever caused it needs to be brought to justice because kids lost tonight. Kids who worked their butts off all summer long to play in a football game it means a lot to both of these communities. Whoever started this incident, for whatever reason, impacted a lot of kids and a great night that they were having tonight. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for your cooperation and help. And we'll, as soon as we know more information, obviously, uh, we want to share that with you. Thanks. Will you be issuing an official statement once you... All right, Shane Broadway with the Salt Bowl Committee there. Uh, David, we're going to send it back to you. We're going to keep gathering information, bring you the latest uh, tomorrow and on THV11.com. Back to you. A huge crowd and great football game overwhelmed by the fear of gunfire at War Memorial Stadium. Dorian and Michael are back with us again live from the stadium for the latest from the Salt Bowl. Hey, David, and you're right. You know, the fear of gunshots really overshadowed what was turning out to be a fantastic softball, not just the game itself, but the atmosphere. Michael and I were out here before with the tailgaters. Everyone was really excited. This was a record crowd. They raised a record number of peanut butter. All in all, it was a great night until this happened. We're talking about 38,000 people here tonight, and we heard from Shane Broadway. He's on the committee for the softball. He said really every everyone, all of the kids here lost tonight. You know, uh, Bryant was up, but this was a loss for all the kids, something that we certainly haven't seen in the history of the Salt Bowl and really here at War Memorial Stadium, to our knowledge, Dorian. Just a, a very terrifying situation as we see people running from the stadium, running from the stands onto the field, and some people even injured uh, as a result of that. Thankfully, no gunshots fired here tonight, according to LRPD, uh, but the game was canceled, as we know. Right, the game was canceled right now. We still don't have uh, any additional information about when or even if they will replay the softball. And as you can see, be <laughs> the game was exciting. Um, as you can see behind us, the uh, Arkansas um, Park, Rangers. Park Rangers, thank you, Michael. They are currently sweeping the stands just to ensure that this is a safe location, that nothing else is going on. Um, but, you know, people here, not only was there an initial stampede when they first heard that there might be gunshots, but then there was a second wave. People just really... A lack of community, not a lack of communication, but Nobody so much going, going on. on. And it was so loud that the people couldn't even make an announcement. Um, and we, it, know, we they, know that there's a scene still unfolding right. outside, people trying to reunite with their families. Right, and people didn't know if this. it was unsafe to, to leave, to stay. They didn't know where to go. A lot of people just ducking along the sidelines for cover you know, trying to call out, but the phone lines were jammed. It's a very scary situation. And, you know, I just spoke with a, a former Benton football player who graduated about five years ago or so. He injured his wrist a little bit as he tried to jump a fence. Just speaks to the chaos uh, involved in this situation. So, again, an investigation ongoing. We do know that several people were injured. We're going to work to learn how many people, how severe their injuries are, and we're going to keep you updated on THV11.com and in our newscast tomorrow at 5.30 and 10 p.m. But just an unfortunate scene here tonight. And, again, one that we'll stay on top of. Unfortunate scene, unfortunate situation. Most important thing, nobody was hurt, no gunshots. Everyone is safe. So THV 11 News will be back after the break.